Um, when I was 12 years old, I discovered a new music genre. I discovered rock music. And obviously, I had heard of the genre before, but I had never really listened to any rock music. So I started listening to bands like Green Day and Nirvana and Sum 41. And I was just, I was sick and tired of top 40 music. And I wanted something different. And when I started listening to rock music, I decided to become a rock star. I wanted to um, play guitar, I wanted to sing, and I wanted to write songs. Um, I was 13 years old when I started taking guitar lessons, and a couple of years went by and I got better at playing guitar, but I was still scared to sing. I tried it a couple of times, but I don't know, I, I always felt very embarrassed and it was scary, so I just gave up eventually. Then one day I found this song by a garage rock band called Petit League, and I thought, I listened to their song and I thought, this is it. This is the song that I've been waiting for my entire life. It was, I love their music and it was just real and it had emotion and I thought, this is the kind of music that I want to make. So I started singing again because I was determined to uh, accomplish the dream that I have had since I was 12 years old. And it took me a while to get over the embarrassment and I just forced myself to do it, to just sing, even though it was scary. Now, I completed step one, which was um, playing guitar. I completed step two, which was singing. But the third step, play, uh, writing a song, I still had to complete that step. So I just started analyzing all these different songs by different bands because I had absolutely no idea how to write a song. And I analyzed there the lyrics and the music and the vocals, and I eventually kind of figured out how to write songs. So I just started writing rock tunes. And in January of 2016, I wrote my first proper rock song called Lemonade. And I had a lot of fun writing that song, but I also wanted to release my tracks. And I knew that the Petit League band, they always recorded and produced everything at home. So I thought, you know, if they can do it, then I can. So I had to figure out how to use software and to record music. Um, so I bought a microphone and I bought a little interface and I just started recording my song. So after like a week of songwriting and uh, recording and producing my, my music, I had my first rock song. But I didn't want to keep it to myself. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to release it online. And a lot of people, and with a lot of people, I just mean friends and family, no record labels or music um, corporations or whatever, they liked my song. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep doing it. Because I loved writing, and I had so much fun doing it. So that's when I decided to release all my music under the name of Great Profile. Now. Before I continue telling you my story, I would just like to play Lemonade for you so that you know what kind of song I'm talking about. <clears throat> Sunday morning Time for jazz and cigarettes Half past seven sitting on the curb Empty rum and lemonade bottles Oh, oh, don't make me cry You left with no goodbye 
Who's on your sofa Bitches to break leather jacket An engine Some song playing Lighting Another one Oh, oh Don't make me cry You laugh when no goodbye At least I'm not afraid My lemonade, yeah, I still have my lemonade So I worked very hard on my music from that day on because I wanted to release an album. That was the ultimate goal. And I, um, I worked on my music every day. It was always running through my head. And I released my first album this year on March 31st. Um, it had 10 songs, some rock songs, some pop songs. and. It was kind of weird releasing an album because it makes you kind of vulnerable because it's so personal and people are either going to hate it or they're going to love it or maybe they're not even going to listen to your music. So it's, it's kind of scary, but in a good way. And two weeks before I released uh, my album, I released a single called True Blue. And I released it through this American website called Burp FM, and they always release new music by all kinds of different artists, and it's a lot of fun because you get to discover um, a lot of new music. And they have these monthly playlists on, uh, that you can listen to on Spotify, and I was really excited that my song was going to be in a playlist on Spotify. But after a couple of days, nothing really happened with my plays. I still had less than a thousand plays on Spotify, so that was kind of disappointing. So like one and a half week later after I released it, I went to my Spotify artist page to see if someone had followed me or whatever, and all of a sudden I had 38,000 monthly listeners. So I thought, okay, this, this is wrong, it's supposed to say 38 or something. It was really weird. But then I found out that my song was not in one, but in two official um, Spotify playlists. And it was just really weird. I mean, I still can't believe that it, that actually happened to me. And my plays were updated a couple of hours later, and True Blue had 42,000 plays in just a couple of hours. And yeah, I released my album uh, three days later, and I was just really excited about everything. So then another exciting thing happened. About a week later, I was contacted by a guy who wanted to be my booker. He sent me an email on Facebook. He said, oh yeah, I want to uh, be your booker, and I want to book shows for you. And I thought, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I never believe things like that. I'm always very hesitant. But we just kept talking for a couple of weeks on Facebook, and we decided to meet. So we did, we met, and we just talked about my plans and his plans and um, my dreams. And we decided to work together. And soon after, he arranged a couple of telephone interviews for me for uh, a couple of uh, local radio stations and a few gigs. And I got a gig at uh, Lebertje Lebertje Festival, which is this Saturday, um, Stone Rock Festival, and a few shows in Utrecht and Groningen, um, Katwijk and Zwolle. The one in Zwolle is this Thursday in Hedon. So if you want to come, feel free to come. It's, <laughs> it's free. Um, 
And, you know, that was all on him. I mean, he arranged all of that. I had to release music, obviously, but he has a pretty big network and he knows all these programmers at festivals and venues, so that's all on him. But right now, I don't know what the future holds for me, but it's looking pretty good. And I would just like to tell everybody here, and it's going to sound incredibly cliche, but if you have a dream and you're passionate about something, just follow your dreams. I mean, if I had given up on um, singing, if I had given up on my dreams, I wouldn't be standing here giving a TED Talk for you, and I wouldn't be playing shows and doing interviews. I would be sitting at home thinking, oh, what if? And when you're 80 years old and you look back on your life, you want to think, oh, I'm so glad I picked up that guitar, and I'm so glad I I don't know, I started playing soccer, whatever. So you have to believe in yourself, which I did. I mean, if you don't believe in yourself, then why should other people? And you have to work hard and you have to fail over and over again. I mean, you have no idea how many bad songs I've written, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I always loved writing songs and that's what kept me going, and that's why I release an album, and that's why I'm working on my second album already. So I just want to tell you one more time, just follow your dreams. Um, now, before I walk off this stage and tell you goodbye, I would just like to play one more song, um, True Blue. I showed you my side and I wait up for you Cause I wrote you so many times in my head And I calmly asked you, was this really all your choice? Oh. I never knew what you wanted And all this time you left me wondering If you saw me At least I'll always be true Blue, but what about you? Side and the sun was being down on me, but I still don't feel alright. Now, can you tell me all the things you never said? Oh. never knew what you wanted And all this time you left me wondering If you saw me At least I'll always be true Blue, but what about you? Thank you.